Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Mina. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you are doing well. As you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum network is congested, so that's the ongoing debate in the market today, on Twitter, everywhere else as well. I saw this meme, which explains the situation so perfectly. So the Bitcoin blockchain network looks like this before BRC20 tokens. The road is completely empty, there's no traffic. And the Bitcoin blockchain after BRC20 tokens, the the road is completely blocked, there's so much traffic and the network is congested. That's how the situation is right now. It really looks like somewhere in LA or New York. This debate has caused a lot of noise. So I just want to give you a few different viewpoints and please let me know what do you think in the comment section below. So this is a tweet from Quine Network. A simple peer-to-peer -peer transfer on Bitcoin or Ethereum has now cost $5 or more for over a week. A $100 international remittance can now pay less in fee than a $100 Bitcoin or Ethereum transactions. This problem is real and you can see that why people are talking about it. We talk about Bitcoin as a store of value. We see that as a future currency um, and future currency needs to be used. And when the network gets congested and you cannot use it or you have to pay a very high fee, that's where the problem comes. So if you see that this next, next tweet from Mike, basically he's saying, El Salvador living wage is about $12 a day. To send Bitcoin today and have a transaction clear within 30 minutes will cost $12. So this is a real problem. If your average wage is $12 and you have to spend that much money in order for your transaction to clear in 30 minutes, that's crazy. And we're talking about the country where Bitcoin is a legal tender. Now moving on, this is a tweet from Travel with Mark. And he shared here a clip from one of his assistants, a female assistant who is in a remote island and she sent some a voice recording a notes uh, and she was stuck there. She tried to get off that island, but she is unable to do so. Uh, apparently she had a she had Bitcoin. She sent that Bitcoin to an exchange in order to get P2P. Uh, transfer in some money to buy the flight back to wherever she has to go but because the network is so congested the transaction is taking forever and she is stuck there so situation is very bad i will leak the link to the tweet in the description below so you can listen to the audio i'm not going to play the audio but i'm going to read what it said in the tweet so he said this is a real audio of actual damage that bitcoin causes to the most financially vulnerable people block size limit arguments is old theory disconnected to the harm it caused to the people who need cheap peer-to-peer -peer transactions. So he tells the backstory. The network congestion going on now has caused our assistant to be stuck on island with no money or means to get back. She sent money from her wallet to an exchange to get dollar out to get a flight back home. It has been stuck for days. We are talking about days, so this is a little sad more than little sad. She sold her watch to afford a dirty hostel and sent us messages crying that she needs to leave. She has no friends or family to bail her out. Bitcoin has failed her. My business partner sent her Bitcoin cash and it resolves the problem in seconds. Here you can see that um, it could be very well the propaganda for Bitcoin cash because um, other than anything else, like using a um, lightning network or anything else, they are using Bitcoin Cash in this example. So it seems a little like advertisement for that. Well, yes, that is true. The Bitcoin Cash, if you do the transaction, the transaction goes very fast. And the fee, definitely, is um, very cheap. So this is the whole problem. A lot of people in the comments suggested like, why did not she use something else? There is a lightning network and um, you can also use some other coins like Litecoin. So here the whole argument start with Bitcoin. Is Bitcoin really a legal tender or could it become a legal tender? Will be people or vulnerable people who are not very rich be able to afford Bitcoin? Because as soon Bitcoin become more ma mainstream and you have to spend it, um, it will increase the transaction um, volume on the network, which will cause congestion. So it is great to have it as store of value, but how um, viable option it is for everyday use, for everyday people. Anyhow, now changing the mood a little bit, this tweet, this is from a person who says, is Bitcoin broken? Just paid for the dinner with lightning in Alzonte. I hope I'm pro pronouncing it right. So this is a couple who just paid for the dinner using the lightning network. And even 
history is full of uh, people arguing about it if lightning network is bitcoin or not so i don't know how people came up with these um, questions but anyhow the thing is that lightning network is working but let me know what do you think about this now moving on to the Binance. Bitcoin Ordinal are coming to Binance NFT Marketplace. Ordinals have allowed for the unique NFT style collection to be inscribed on Bitcoin blockchain. So that's what our uh, Ordinals and while everybody is so unhappy about the Ordinals and BRC C20 um, standard, uh, Binance, the biggest exchange in the world, is embracing them and they're coming to Binance NFT Marketplace. So this is great. Now, I'm going to leave you with this last tweet I just saw a few minutes ago. PayPal holds $499 million in Bitcoin on their balance sheet. This tweet was then edited after they posted it. So this is basically customer funds, not Bitcoin that PayPal is holding for themselves. $500 million that the PayPal is holding on the balance sheet is the customer deposits. It's for the customers. So yeah, I hope Bitcoin will be fine. Um, it is right now more like a store of value. What do you think? Let me know your comments in the comment section. I will love to read them. Happy investing and I will see you soon.